Yo, what up guys? Welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one's on episode 6 of Jewel Mujin no Fafnir. And this episode, things are starting to really play out from in this new arc. From the very beginning, we from the last episode we saw that one dragon that uh, that we saw um you pretty much destroy when he was younger it's back and it turns out that thing pretty much like it can't be killed they've completely destroyed the whole thing and it's just regenerated before the only thing that stopped it w before was you and even then it wasn't completely killed so it's like the hell how do you beat something like that that is just kind of just overkill i don't know overpowered <laughs> but it's pretty much just standing there and it's pretty much the whole time it was a distraction um, Mitsuki and she tells her um, you to come with her and everyone else to come with her while leaving Lisa with Tear to protect Tear and then it turns out this it was all a distraction pretty much and Keely comes the per the girl the, that we saw the last time that thinks of herself as a dragon soup the leader of the dragon cults she comes back for Tear of course and this whole episode is literally pretty much um, um, Lisa trying to defend and fight against, you know, Keely and just failing the whole time because Keely is way too strong and they're just running away the whole time until finally I, Lisa is really hurt. And I'm, I'm pretty sure she's not killed, but she's really hurt down there. She gets destroyed pretty much by Keely. And in the end, you figures out that, you know, that was the plan and he finds Keely and he can't beat her she's he's starting to lose tears you know she doesn't want him to you know die so she pretty much starts to give up until she t you know she realizes you know she's happy the way she is she doesn't want this to happen she doesn't want to be the basilisk um, bride as Keely says and she tells her she doesn't want to do that you know and right when Keely is about to kill her all of a sudden, you comes out of nowhere and does this like boof, blast thing that flies him backwards, which Keely says it's a Leviathan's move or something. The one of the moves from the Leviathan. So I'm thinking, he beat the Leviathan. Does he gain some sort of power from them? Is that what makes him different and stronger, better? I don't know, but Keely is definitely surprised at first, but she's still really strong. I don't even know how she does her moves. Um, that's one thing that you couldn't understand either really so they'll probably you know put more into that in the next episodes but the big thing is at the end of the episode Keely I guess that thing stops you know not gonna the dragon that was there is starting to attack now and they're gonna have to do something I'm not too sure what's gonna happen it's probably gonna end up with you this is what I think you using that power again losing more memories and taking it out but man it's pretty crazy this episode so far in the fact that all this is happening like tear keely i don't know where you know is lisa okay i'm pretty sure she's not dead but she's gotta be really hurt what is you gonna do what is mitsuki and everyone else gonna do and we're gonna figure that out in the next episode of course and i can't wait for the next episode to be perfectly honest it this episode was you think of like oh man this was like action right but it was a little more eh. it was like they dragged on the cha um the chasing of Keely chasing uh, Lisa and Tear for way too long to be honest I could have done more with that and yeah I'm excited just only because um I want to see what you is gonna do what else can he do because he did the Leviathan move he still got surprises up his sleeve that maybe he doesn't even realize and I want to see more of that. What's going to happen with that? And more of Keely. Because Keely's actually really, like, she's a badass, gotta admit. And I wonder, like, why is she doing this? Why, you know, I want to know more about her and more about everything that's going on. Why she's doing this dragon cultist thing. Why is she giving the dragons the Ds? You know, like, she's giving. <laughs> that sounded so wrong, but you know what I mean giving um she wanted to give tear to the basilisk why that's crazy right but they are dragon cultists they think them the dragons are gods pretty much i guess 
And she thinks of herself as a god, I guess, then, because she thinks of herself as a dragon. But, yeah, pretty crazy stuff. Um, that's the end of my discussion review, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed you want to talk about, comment below as well. And until next time, guys, see ya.